Top 10 Myths About the Middle Ages The Middle Ages lasted roughly from the 5th century to the 16th century, a total of 1,100 years. During the post-medieval period, also often referred to as the Enlightenment, there was criticism and condemnation over the past centuries, as we now see during the Victorian era e.g. sexual rebellion. Condemn the actions of many authors of the newly invented Protestant movement strongly attacked the Middle Ages for being Catholic. Unfortunately, many of the myths and misconceptions that existed at the time are still believed today. The purpose of this list is to straighten things out. Number 10. Death Penalty. Mudakalam, the death penalty was common in the Middle Ages, but many still believe that the Middle Ages gave birth to the jury system and in fact its trials were fairly fair. The death penalty was considered the most severe and was used in the worst cases of crimes such as murder, treason, and arson. It was not until the Middle Ages that people like Elizabeth I began to use the death penalty as a means of rescuing their nations from religious adversaries. The beheading was not to be beheaded as we see in the movies, they were given only to the rich, and were not usually performed in public. The most common method of execution was hanging, and arson was extremely rare, and was usually performed after the first execution. Number 9. Locked Bibles. Myths, during the Middle Ages, the Bible was closed to prevent people from seeing the true word, until Gutenberg came along, and all books had to be written by hand. It was hard work that took months, especially such a large Bible book. The task of hand printing books was left to monks and nuns in monasteries. These books were incredibly valuable and needed in every church because the Bible was read aloud every day. To protect these valuable books, they would be locked up. There was no conspiracy to keep the Bible from the people, the locks meant that the church could guarantee that people could hear the Bible every day, not many people could read. And just to show that it wasn't just the Catholic Church that closed the Bibles for safety, the most famous chained Bible is the Great Bible that Henry VIII created and protested. The doer was ordered to study in the churches. You can read more about it here. Lincoln's Catholic Diocese comments on the practice here. Number 8. Starving Poor. Superstitions, the poor were kept in a state of starvation. This is completely wrong. The farmer, those who did manual work, had daily fresh porridge and bread, to drink. In addition, they took dried or treated meat, cheese, and a variety of fruits and vegetables from their area each day. Chickens, hens, ducks, pigeons and geese were not uncommon at the farmer's dinner table. Some farmers also liked to raise bees and provide honey for their tables. Given the choice between McDonald's and medieval peasant food, I doubt that peasant food would be more nutritious and delicious. The rich man of that time had a special choice of meat, such as cattle and sheep. They ate more courses than the poor for every meal, and there were probably a lot of spicy dishes in it, something the poor couldn't afford. Here is an interesting article from Wikipedia that explains the diet of most of the vegetables and grains of the farmers in the early medieval times, which led to more meat later on. Number 7. Thatched Roofs. Myth, farmers scattered the roofs with the animals living in them. First, the roofs of medieval dwellings were made of a hard mat, they were not just straw and sticks spread over the house. Animals could not easily enter the roof, and given the concern of the middle-aged average, if an animal entered, it would be removed immediately, as we enter our homes today. Remove birds or other small creatures. Dot. And for the record, roofs weren't just for the poor, they had lots of castles and grand homes, because they did a great job. There are still many houses in English villages whose roofs still remain. Number 6. Smelly people. Myth, people didn't bathe in the Middle Ages, so they stink. It's just a total story. It's so widely believed that it gave birth to a whole other series of myths, such as this false belief. That was the incense of the church. Designed to hide the stench of so many people in one place. In fact, the incense was part of the church's history of its Jewish religion, which also used incense in its sacrifices. This story also gives rise to the strange idea that people usually got married in May or June because they did not stink. This of course. Absolutely rubbish. People got married during these months because marriage was not allowed during Lent, the season of repentance. So, back to the stinky people. 
In the Middle Ages, most cities had bathrooms, in fact, hygiene and hygiene were highly valued, so much so that bathrooms were incorporated into various ceremonies, such as those around knighthood. Some people bathed daily, others less regularly, but most people bathe. Plus, they used hot water, they just had to heat it themselves, unlike our modern plumbed hot water. The French called it the best in the following Latin statement, Venari, Lodri, Lori, Baberi, this is true. Hunting, playing, washing, drinking, this is survival. Number 5. Peasant life. Myth, farmers lived a life of hardship and scarcity. In fact, while medieval peasants worked hard, this was the only way you could eat as far as the fields, they had regular festivals, religious and secular, that included dancing, drinking, sports, and tournaments. Many games of that time are still played today, chess, checkers, dice, blind man's flirtations and many more. It's not as fun as the latest game for the Wii, but it was a great opportunity to enjoy the warm weather in particular due to the medieval warming period. Number 4. Violence everywhere. Myth, the Middle Ages were a time of great violence when the Middle Ages were oppressive, as it always has been, our modern Stalin, Hitler and Mao were no equal. Most people lived their lives without violence. The inquiry was not the violent bloodshed claimed by many movies and books, and is now readily acknowledged by most modern historians. Modern times have seen genocide, mass murder, and serial genocide, something that was practically unheard of before the Enlightenment. In fact, there are really only two serial killers of the medieval note, Elizabeth Bathory and Giles de Rees. For those who dispute the fact that inquiries resulted in very few deaths, Wikipedia estimates that 826 maximum executions were carried out over a 160-year period. From 45,000 trials, Number 3. Oppressed Women. Myths, oppression of women in the Middle Ages in the 1960s and 1970s, it was thought that women were oppressed in the Middle Ages. In fact, we need to think of a few notable women of that era who are in fact not quite right, Saint John of Arc was a young woman who was given full control of the French army. His downfall was political and he was either a man or a woman. In the Middle Ages, Hildegard van Bengen was a controversial figure who was held in such high esteem that kings, popes and lords all sought his advice. His music and writing still exist today. Elizabeth I ruled as a powerful queen in her own right, and there were women leaders in many other nations. Granted women did not work in cathedrals, but they certainly carried their weight in the fields and villages. Furthermore, the laws of hostility meant that women were to be treated with the greatest dignity. The biggest difference between the concept of feminism in the Middle Ages and now is that in the Middle Ages it was believed that women were equal in dignity, different in work. Number 2. Flat Earth. Myth, the medieval people thought that the Earth was flat. Besides, people did not believe that the Earth is the center of the universe. The famous monk Copernicus tried to sue Galileo for corruption, without sentencing, before he was sentenced to death. To claim that he proved the Bible wrong. Two modern historians have recently published a book in which they state, Circum knows to waft to. Quote. Number 1. Crude and ignorant. Myth, medieval people were crude and ignorant. Thanks to massive Hollywood movies, many people think that the Middle Ages were full of religious superstition and ignorance. But in fact, leading historians deny that there is any evidence. Science and philosophy flourished at that time, partly because of the introduction of universities throughout Europe. The Middle Ages produced the greatest art, music and literature in all history. Bathias, Boccaccio, Dante, Petrarch, and Machiavelli are still revered for their minds. The churches and castles of Europe still stand and have beautiful works of art, and the man who worked on the stones has succeeded in creating them with his bare hands. The medicine of the day was ancient, but when it arose it was ready to accept new ideas, as we have modern medicine. 